It was kind of cool though because Jason Bateman just did his first d- directorial. He debut actually for uh, bad words, right? Yeah, he did his first one, bad words, and then he'd shot his second one. And I managed to, it, it worked out really well because Jason and I wanted to work together on this. He was in the middle of post production on his second movie, but he was waiting for his composer to be available because the composer was working on something else. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. And he thought, well, this is great. I can go shoot something literally down the street from where I live while I wait for my composer to come back. So, you know, we, sh- we shot together and he was amazing. And because he had directed a movie and because he is who he is, it was it was great for me to have a partner in him who understood what it was like for an actor to come to you know the director's chair. Right, and he was so accommodating, and nor did he ever try and tell me like he wasn't judgy. Uh, maybe you. you should move the camera a little to the left. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't have done it that way, Joel. Yeah, <laughs> personally, I wouldn't have done you it. You missed the mark there, bud. <laughs> well, this movie, The Gift, had a lot to do with bullying. I think that's not giving too much away. Uh-huh. I, uh, maybe it is a little bit, but no, about not bullying at all. in the past. So. Growing up, were you a theater kid? Were you bullied, or were you a bullier? I was, I, I was a bit of a theater kid, as but I was also a bit of a sports kid. You play rugby or something? I played, I played basketball. I was obsessed with basketball. Oh, really? As a kid, yeah. I refereed. I coached. I played. I played a lot of sport. I did a lot of karate and I did a lot of um, uh, played cricket and, and soccer and. Uh, but as far as like roles of bullying and being bullied, I, I was on both sides of that coin. Like I, I, I was, there were times where yeah. I was a mean kid and there were times where I, I had like tall guys looming over me and, uh, the second one's not so fun and the, and the first one you're not so proud of. Cause I got to think the movie, <laughs> the idea came from somewhere personal. Yeah, it was weird. It, it was more after I had the idea that I started talking to a lot of people about their experiences, and uh, you know, some of them are funny and some of them are really tragic. Yeah, I mean one of one of the one of the kind of you know curiously funny incidents. I, I talked to this guy in London who was he's about six foot six, and he said he didn't grow that tall until after high school. And recently, a few years earlier, he'd run into the guy that bullied him who hadn't grown at all <laughs> since school. And now that was, it was a big mismatch. And he elicited an apology from this guy oh. you know, after about 15 years. But the guy was laughing it off at first going, yeah, but that was yeah. like, yeah, that That's was years ago. Yeah. That's, uh, we were kids. Oh, yeah, He's yeah, like, you, no, we weren't kids. You don't forget. You rem- I remember what you did to me. Yeah. Why don't you say sorry in the middle of a mall? He's oh. like, I'm, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> it does. The movie really makes you think, though, like, man, who did I treat poorly back in the day or who bullied me? You know, it makes you think about mm. childhood and things that maybe you didn't think were a big deal at the time, but right. maybe mm. ruined someone's life later down the road. Like, do you want people to call the kids they bullied <laughs> after the movie and go, hey, bro, my bad? Yeah. <laughs> that the whole- well, look, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, the other thing is the movie covers that ground, and there's a lot of resonant things in there for me about that and the way we're, we treat other people as human beings and, and at what age we're culpable for the bad things we yeah. do or whether we can hide behind the fact that we were a child. And and also the question of who are the people that you live with? Because Rebecca's character in the movie starts to realise that maybe the villain is her own husband. Maybe the bad guy is under her own roof. Mm. You know, So there's a lot of resonant stuff in there. However... W- w- the movie is a thriller. The movie is a piece of entertainment. We're not trying to write an essay on on bullying and and i think there's a lot of great material out there if if you care to dive into it documentaries about that stuff but the subject matter is so uh i mean it's it's always in the zeitgeist sadly um joe truth or false (laughs) were you going to be in suicide squad there was a rumor floating around that jenna found Uh, uh, yeah yeah, i don't want to get in trouble yeah like that (laughs) there was a possibility there was yeah yeah, you got a lot of movies coming out though. I know I read that, which is cool because we've been seeing the previews for that as well. But did you just have to Jai say actually, it? who I mentioned, is is in Suicide Squad. Yeah, the other Australian and yeah. Margot Robbie. Yeah, we the other. Yeah, we <laughs> the other yeah what's up with Margot Robbie? <laughs> what's up with her? Yeah, what's up? He loves her. <laughs> that's my. Oh, do you well, love who, her? Who oh, does that's, it? That's yeah. my free She's pass, up though. in that trailer. I mean, she's up on that cage, right? Yeah, she's yeah. hanging like a bat or something. Have uh, you hung out with her before? <laughs> no, I've met Margot. We've yeah. all met each other. All Australians know each other. Yeah, like black people, JC. Yeah, did you guys date ever? Did we date? Yeah. That, uh, it's funny because I didn't hear you, so there was a pause, and yeah, people were going to think that I was trying to. Uh, uh, oh, time. no. No. Um, look at me, man. I don't think so. 
What do you mean? Are you serious? There's a little age gap there. Oh. I think I'd be, you know. Oh, the age gap. Yeah, yeah that matters. Yeah. Oh, Hollywood. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Joel. <laughs> it's funny. It, it matters the other way, doesn't it? It's sort of weird. It's all right to be really old as a guy right. and on screen with a young woman. But Shut if you up. did it the other way, everyone would get real yeah. Gross critical out. of it, wouldn't it? It's bad. <laughs> it's yeah. weird with stupid. it. stupid. I uh, personally don't agree with the... Older man, a woman, younger man relationship. We're rolling in Zach Efron right now, and you guys are going to star in a movie. And you know, I think that could be a awesome. Good, yeah, I could do that. You down for that, but it's true. I mean, the 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 double standards are bad, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not cool. 